The first week of the new season is over here in Ostersund, and some things haven't changed since last year. Kaisa Makarainen pretty much dominated the women's competitions this week, getting third, second, and first place, wearing the yellow bib as we go to Hope Filson. First week in Ostersund is over, first week of the World Cup season. How would you analyze this? Tough tracks, tough shooting. Tell us what your impressions were of Ostersund. Uh, it's always difficult when it's not natural snow that they have to prepare the tracks uh, with the last year's snow or, or I don't know how they actually <laughs> did everything. But, uh, but the um, conditions were pretty hard, not perfect. Also shooting range here is difficult to shoot, but uh, I managed that pretty well. But it was many dangerous <laughs> situations on the tracks in the every races. Was the shooting as hard as any we've had here recently, other than last year when the race was canceled? <laughs> uh, I don't really remember. I think that my memory is not that good, that I, I can remember how it was two years ago, but it, it always feels that uh, this is not the easiest place to shoot. It's always some windy and maybe some ice on the mats or something, the lights, because in the training season we mostly train in the daytime, so it's, everything is a little bit new. What was the key to your success this week? Was it mental toughness, was it preparation, or luck? <laughs> Not luck, I would say. Uh, I have had a good uh, training season, and I felt pretty strong on skis before I came here. I, um, I made four races in Finland before this, so I think I was ready to start the tough races here and shooting was much better than what uh, I have usually have in the beginning of the season. So I think the, it's the biathlon which makes me strong <laughs> here. The men's competition was a little more difficult. France was really good in the relay. Martin Fourcade looked super in the mixed relay won that competition, but came back in the 20K for a disastrous 81st place. Emil Hegel Svensson from Norway took over the yellow bib, and he's still there on Sunday evening, although Forkad won the last two competitions. Martin, one week down in the World Cup season. It didn't start exactly as you expected, but generally are you satisfied? Yeah, I'm uh, really uh, satisfied about my uh, beginning of the season, of course, uh, the um, individual was a disaster, but uh, you know it's a kind of uh, emotional elevator to be down on the individual and to be up uh, today. It's a really a great feeling, and I'm really happy to to succeed uh, three more times in uh, Ostersund this week. So, yeah, that's cool. How do you feel about the competition? Are the same guys competing hard against you that you expected? <sighs> it's uh, it was a tough competition today, and uh, I. Uh, I, uh, it was really hard to, to keep uh, the lead, but uh, I know that the, the other guys are really uh, uh, strong and they can catch me on each competition, so that's a, a great challenge for me. Looking forward, do you expect to see this kind of tough skiing conditions the rest of the season? I don't know, of course. I, I, I'm looking for a real winter with cold conditions, uh, real uh, beautiful snow, but uh, we were not lucky the few past uh, World Cups and I really hope that we will have this kind of condition because I'm uh, an eight-year lover and uh, of course I, I, I love to compete but I also love to have a, a good ski. Conditions here were really tough. The flags are blowing now just as they were all weekend. The snow was beat up. It was old snow. Athletes were falling. Skis were getting torn up. It was just a really tough week. As Martin Forcade says, he's looking forward to some real winter.